Hey, Tim here. Welcome to Budget Bronco. Today we're going to be talking about something that has been getting a lot of discussion and attention from Bronco owners, and that is mud flaps. Uh, why so much discussion about mud flaps? Well, for one, there's a ton of different options out there, uh, a lot of debate on uh, if and why they're even needed, and uh, the prices for these things are kind of all over the map. So I'm going to show you the option that I'm going with. Uh, first, I'm going to show you why they're needed, uh, show you some of the other things that are out there. Of course, my option is the more budget-friendly option. It does require a little bit of uh, engineering to get them to install properly. So, of course, I'll show you how I'm building a the proper mounting bracket and uh, all that goes into that. So let's go. So for starters, why are a lot of people uh, discussing mud flaps and why they're needed on the Bronco? The reason is um, with these wide tires and the fender flares, you can see I'm looking straight up at the Bronco. Um, there's this giant kind of gap between where the fender flare ends and uh, the bottom portion of the side of the Bronco. And in fact, the doors, you can see they're kind of angles out a bit. So all the mud and rocks come right underneath this fender flare. And uh, I've recently washed the Bronco. You can see just a lot of uh, mud and gunk. And if you live uh, like in a gravel area, driving a gravel road, your uh, panels are just going to get destroyed. Um, so uh, if you want to try and keep your Bronco looking nice, you're gonna want to put mud flaps on. So that's why we're doing this project. Let me do a product comparison and show you some different options out there, starting with the Ford branded accessories. Ford sells uh, mud flaps for 450 bucks, which is just insane to me. I'm sure these are good quality. That's just for either the front 450 or the rear 450. So an entire set front and back, you're looking at 900 bucks. These are probably nice and they are flexible, uh, which is I think what you want. And I'll show you in the, the video later why that's the case. They also have a rigid option for $50. Uh, I would never install those. Uh, again, they're gonna crack and break and I'll do a test in my video here and show you. So those are very expensive. Another option, WeatherTech, uh, only $40. These are frankly hideous in my opinion. Here's a picture from Bronco 60 form of somebody who has installed them. It just looks ridiculous. It's also the rigid option, which I don't think is a good choice. Another really popular one I've seen are these rock blocks, 260 bucks, so pretty pricey, uh, but they seem to be good quality. They're flexible and they come with a bracket that mounts to the inner fender uh, that allows you to remove them. And that's really got what got me thinking about my solution that I'm going to show you in the video today, which is kind of the best of both worlds. A very inexpensive, uh, in this case, $25 flexible plastic color brand mud flap. Um, they also have one if you don't like the Ford logo. This one's $25 for whatever inexplicable reason. Uh, the non Ford branded is a few bucks more. Uh, so they also have this uh, mountain kind of scene flap. Um, so this is the brand that I went with. I'll show you how to install it and I'll include a link in the description for these products. So here are the mud flaps that I purchased. Um, they're pretty heavy duty. They're about an eighth of an inch thick. And, uh, you know, I went with the Ford logo. It's nice. And uh, they are, you know, pretty heavy. And on the back, you can see they're actually embedded uh, with fiber of some sort to kind of give them extra rigidity and toughness. So they have a little bit of flexibility to them. Uh, enough so that when you hit a rock or something or a stump, they're not going to just crack. Uh, but appear to be heavy duty enough to last um, and should be good for their purpose. Let me show you the details of how we're going to mount the mud flap. If you look at this area here and the places where you'd want to secure the mud flap, what you've got is this inner fender, which is a flimsy kind of plastic. Uh, so that's not a really great place to mount. You could do it, but I'm not feeling like you'd get a real secure mount. Out here, you've got the uh, inside of the fender flare. There is some places, this plastic edge here, where maybe I can do some mounting, but uh, if you try to put a bolt through here, it's gonna poke out to the other side of the fender flare, and you definitely don't want that. So the mounting options are somewhat limited, with the one exception being on uh, non-Sasquatch models where you have this, uh, have the crash bar. That does give me the option, what I'm going to do, to add a bracket 
to that um, uh, crash bar so we can stick out another few inches or so and then I will mount the mud flap onto that bracket so it'll give us lots of very secure mounting points all the way out to the edge of the mud flap and um, keep it very secure. So that is about what we're going for and I uh, will get to work. I've got my bracket marked up. I'm going to be cutting about four and a half inches off the top of the bracket. Uh, so this is the section I'll be taking out uh, with a cut and then a cut across. That'll leave this section for mounting the mud flap. I'll have these three holes which I can attach to the mud flap and then I'll use three of the holes on the other side of the bracket for attaching to the crash bar. So let's get cutting. the crash bar removed and this is the uh, painted finished bracket so now it's just a matter of uh, I'm gonna line the bracket on the crash bar mark two holes one on each side that I'll use to fasten the bracket to the crash bar drill those holes and then uh, fasten this all together Now that I have my holes drilled, I have uh, some stainless steel hardware just going to use through the two holes, one on top of the crash bar, one on the side um, with some lock washers just to get it all assembled together. Come through. It's a little bit tricky on the inside. You got to kind of get your fingers in there. Okay. Got that threaded. Use this on the inside. Good, all secure. Now I am ready to mount the mud flap. I can actually, uh, yeah, install it back on the truck and then mount the mud flap on these three holes available. The first thing I want to note is uh, in order to get these to fit just the way I want them to, I carved out a little section uh, on this part of the mud flap and in a second you'll see why. So just a sharp razor blade it was real easy to cut off that little bit. And then the reason I did that is because when I put it up in here, you'll see uh, it fits snug against this inner wheel well. And uh, I didn't want them dragging too close to the ground. So by carving out that little bit allows me to slide the mud flap up a bit. So I've got it right to the height where I want it. Um, it's out flush with the edge of the uh, fender flare. 
uh, down towards the bottom. You probably can't see on the camera. It's about uh, six or seven inches off the ground. Um, and I pull it nice and tight against the bracket that I built and just mark those three holes um, so that I can drill them out and attach the mud flap to my bracket. So now I have the flap and the bracket. I decided I was gonna use the one uh, mounting point where I mounted the bracket onto the crash bar to also go through the mud flap. Can't hurt to have one extra mounting point. But at this point, it's just a matter of uh, using, again, stainless steel fasteners. I'm gonna use a washer on each side. Um, note that these fasteners will be visible from the back side of the flap, but uh, I don't think that's a big deal. Maybe uh, you could paint them black if you really didn't want them to show up. And then on the other side, uh, I'm going to use these um, nylon lock washers. And um, let's see if I can do this without all this falling out. Again, washers and this. There, nice and tight. That is definitely not going anywhere. And now it's ready to be assembled back into the Bronco by simply reinstalling the crash bar. Now I've got the crash bar mounted back uh, in its original position with the mud flap. And man, this is super solid. That is not gonna go anywhere. The only other thing I'm gonna add is here at the top, it might flap a little bit, it will flap a little bit. So I'm gonna use a screw and a little spacer to tap into the inner side of the fender flare um, where there's a piece of plastic with a gap underneath. So going through this piece of plastic right here does not take you to the uh, outside visible end of the fender flare. There's a gap there. So I'll be screwing this screw through a spacer that I'll add and into that fender flare. Here's the spacer, put that on there. Good, and now this won't flap at all. So we're good to go. The last thing I'm going to show you is a test. Stay tuned. So as I've mentioned, the big benefit of this style of uh, flexible mud flap is it's not going to just crack and break the second you try to go over a rock or a curb or whatever. So I'm going to do a little test. I've got uh, a cinder block set up. I'm going to drive over it and show you the results. So you can see, uh, if you had a hard plastic uh, flap, that thing would have just cracked as soon as it hit that, a rock, a curb, anything like that. So if you intend to use your Bronco for any kind of off-roading, I highly recommend uh, these more flexible flaps. And for 30 bucks, you really can't go wrong. So that's it for Budget Bronco. Thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe and like button, and we'll see you next time.